Hello everyone, dear community. I warmly welcome you to this new video. Whether you're a complete beginner or a professional, if you're looking for a professional laser engraving machine that's not only easy to use, packed with dozens of features, but also offers a lot of power, then I definitely have the right one for you today. Right here on the table, the ultimate high-end device from Xtool. We're talking about the laser engraving machine S1. A large working area, an even larger range of functions, a fire extinguishing system, and an incredible power of 20 or 40 watts are just some of the features that this device has to offer. To give you just a small glimpse at this point, you can tell for yourselves it's going to be very interesting. In today's video, we'll take a detailed look at what this high-end laser really has to offer, how it performs in practice, and whether it's worth the investment or not. I hope you're as excited as I am. Therefore, I would say let's start right after the intro. But if you haven't already, then subscribe to this channel now and activate the bell so you won't miss any videos in the future. You can find the current prices of this device down in the video description. Thank you very, very much for your support, and let's get started after the intro. And there it is, already on the table in front of us, the S1 from Xtool. You could say it's the Rolls Royce among laser engraving machines because this device offers a huge range of functions and at the same time has a lot of power under the hood. In today's video, we'll take a detailed look at this machine and then thoroughly test it in practice to see what's really possible with it. Regarding the contents of the laser's delivery, I can say that it's truly very extensive, so I've decided to record a separate video where I show in detail what's really included in the delivery, how to set up the laser, and then put it into operation. I'll link the video right away on the upper right corner of the info card. If you haven't already, definitely watch it again. So now we can take a detailed look at the S1. I suggest we start with the exterior or first impressions. Overall, I can say that the S1 from Xtool in terms of processing and implementation makes a really excellent impression. Upon inspection, one can immediately notice that the device is very, very precise and of high quality. There are no sharp edges, no plastic residues or the like. It feels very, very valuable. The device is made of a thick plastic casing, which not only saves weight, but is also surprisingly robust on the other hand. Because the laser, as it currently stands in front of us, already weighs a solid 14 kilograms. In conjunction with the four large rubber feet on the bottom, this thing really has a bomb-proof stand and definitely won't budge a centimeter. This is mainly due to the fact that compared to the lasers already presented, we have a completely different design. As can be seen in front of us, we have a closed laser, which, compared to an open one, has several advantages. The most obvious advantage relates to the protective cover or flap on the front. As you can see, this can be easily opened with one finger, locked at different angles, and is very nicely sized. This gives us plenty of space to handle materials, to place them, to remove them again, and of course, to observe everything very well. Because, as you can see, the flap is made of green transparent plastic and serves the same function as laser safety glasses. The advantage, in this case, to protect our eyes, we don't need to wear safety glasses, but simply fold down the cover and can still observe the laser in various positions. Additionally, the laser with its displayed outer dimensions is not square but rectangular, which also allows for a lot of space inside the laser. More precisely, the S1 model has both the 20 and 40 watt versions. The only difference is really just the laser power and the large engraving area of 498 by 329 millimeters. This makes the laser easily capable of processing A3 format and furthermore, as shown in the graphic, the S1 is slightly larger compared to the other lasers already presented in terms of engraving area. In practice, this is of course particularly advantageous because we can also cut out especially large objects or engrave images over the entire area. Inside the laser, as you can see, there's the honeycomb mat. This comes as standard with the basic variant, which is the one I personally would recommend including right away. 
The practical thing, the honeycomb mat is also nicely sized, directly fitting for this laser, has four rubber feet, and can also be easily removed. Furthermore, there's a nicely sized metal tray underneath. This makes it practical to clean the laser easily after use. Continuing inside, when you look at the axes of this device, you notice another advantage. In particular, the movable axis, which you can see is extremely robustly constructed. It's entirely made of aluminum and gives a very, very resilient impression. Even when I start to shake it, there's no play. It's really securely in place. This means we not only have a very high durability, but also can achieve significantly higher speeds in practice without compromising the precision of the laser or the results. In practice, the S1 achieves speeds of up to an incredible 36,000 millimeters per minute. Compared to other models already presented, this laser, as you can see, is at the top by a wide margin, and of course, this also brings the very large advantage that even large projects are completed much faster compared to a laser that's naturally much slower. Regarding the control of the laser, Xtool offers several options for the user's benefit. One of them is controlling it with a smartphone. Xtool provides the Creative Space app for both Android and iOS, allowing us to control the laser directly from our smartphone and, for example, engrave images. Or, option number two, we use the PC. Here again, there's the Creative Space desktop application for both Mac and Windows, or we connect the laser with Lightburn. As for the proprietary software, Creative Space, I must say that Xtool has done a pretty good job with it in my opinion, and it's perfectly tailored to the laser, thus working flawlessly. By the way, the software needs to be activated or updated for the laser initially, whether we connect the laser directly to the PC or the phone. Through the Creative Space software, we can adjust settings directly on the device and update the laser to the latest version. The Wi-Fi connection to my network works perfectly without any difficulties, which definitely can't be said for every device. This allows the laser to be controlled wirelessly, as I mentioned, for example, from a smartphone. But the special thing about the Creative Space application is actually the huge range of functions of the laser, which, as far as I've observed, we can only fully utilize with this application. One incredible advantage of this laser, which not only saves time but also nerves, is the positioning. We're familiar with other lasers where we either have to manually align them on the workpiece or they have a camera. That's also very practical, but we only achieve accuracies of plus or minus 2 millimeters, and with particularly delicate objects, it's difficult to achieve the most accurate precision. That's not the case with the S1 from Xtool. Here we have the huge advantage that we can precisely define the object through multiple points. For example, I want to place an engraving exactly in the middle of this round object. I think most of you will know how complicated that is, and in the end, when you look closely, the engraving is never 100% centered. With Xtool, that's no longer a problem because through the software, we can easily define round objects with three points. This means I place the laser here, here, and here, and automatically the software creates the object, a circle, so that I can easily place the engraving in the object on my workspace. The same goes for rectangles, squares, and other shapes. Here too, I first have to specify in the software which shape I want to engrave. Then I move the corresponding corner points, always confirming with the button on the front, and then I have the shape back digitally on my workspace in the program. In the comprehensive Lightburn software, I must say I have not found this function, unfortunately. If I'm mistaken, please correct me in the comments below. The next advantage of the S1 concerns the focus. Because the laser head doesn't need to be manually focused, not even semi-automatically, but the whole process works fully automatically with the press of a button. For this, we only need to manually, or in the software, guide the laser to the material where it should perform the engraving. Then we press the focus button once in the software. The laser extends the focus pen, moves completely down once until it reaches the material to determine the focus height. Then it moves all the way back to the right to reset the focus pen, and thus the laser is set and ready for use.
Another huge advantage of the S1 is its dynamic focus. The laser can raise and lower the laser head during engraving. Firstly, in the standard version, as the device stands before us, we can only engrave materials up to a height of 42 millimeters. For those for whom this is not sufficient, there's a raising plate, a base that we can screw underneath here. With this, we can engrave objects up to a height of 125 millimeters, such as bread boxes, chests, or similar items that are significantly higher. With the dynamic focus, however, we can also engrave objects that are not completely flat but have a slight curvature. For this purpose, I can set multiple focus points in a grid in the Creative Space application. Then, the laser scans the entire object in this grid once and determines the plane, adjusting the focus on the entire object. Afterwards, we can also insert corresponding images or graphics here and engrave them on the curved object with perfect focus. It goes even further, for example, optionally, we can also purchase a rotation device to completely engrave glasses, cups, and the like all around. Very important, the rotation device is only possible in conjunction with the raised base. But now, let's take a look at the heart of this machine, namely the built-in laser module. In this case, it's a diode laser, and as mentioned earlier, there are two possible variants available for this device, the 20-watt model and the 40-watt model. The only difference between these two devices is solely the laser module or the power. The practical aspect here is that the laser module itself can be easily dismantled and thus replaced on this device. For example, on my laser, I can just as easily mount a 40-watt laser module or even an infrared laser module where I can then engrave metals accordingly. In this case, as you can see, it's an incredibly compact laser module with a wavelength of 455 nanometers. That means we have blue laser light here and a strong output of a solid 20 watts. In practice, I must admit I was really surprised at what I could already achieve with this laser, as I've extensively tested the device for you in various disciplines. I started by engraving plywood, 4 millimeters thick, showing only one piece here. The rest I've already disposed of. As you can see, initially I burned huge holes into the base material because I simply didn't expect the laser's power to be so strong. I then conducted further experiments and ultimately, I developed these two performance charts for you regarding the 20-watt laser from Xtool. In the first attempt, I ran the machine at 2,000 millimeters per minute and found that the material was completely severed at 90% power. Therefore, I aborted the test to avoid damaging the machines. I repeated the process at speeds ranging from 4,500 to 14,500 millimeters per minute. As you can see, even at 100% power, there's still a very deep groove. This can no longer be called engraving on the surface, but almost milling. The laser is simply too powerful at 100% at these speeds. For this reason, I repeated the process again with different settings, and now you can see the decreasing straight line with increasing speed. Up here at 10,000 millimeters per minute, we still have a very deep groove. However, as we decrease, you can see that the groove becomes shallower, and at 20 to 23,000 millimeters per minute, the results are already very good. And as I said, the device is designed for up to 36,000 millimeters per minute, which means we can go much faster at 100% power. Another discipline alongside wood engraving involves cutting wood, which is also easily achievable due to the high power. As you can see, I started with 90 millimeters up to 240 millimeters per minute. Yes, I have to admit, I didn't expect that either. There was complete penetration from 45% to 100% power. The piece was completely perforated, as shown here in the upper area. The wood is already well burnt, so either too much power or too little speed for this power. In the second attempt, things looked much better. Again, the decreasing straight line, and we see that up to 600 millimeters at 85% power, the device could still completely sever the material. So I find it really remarkable how much power the 20 watt laser module can deliver here. But not only on wood, but also on slate. 
I tested the device for hours to really determine the perfect result. The result, this beautiful large performance chart on the slate plate, I would say this whole thing is definitely impressive. As you can see, from 3000 up to an incredible 30,000 millimeters per minute, the laser has achieved very, very good results. Even at 40% power, there's still a superb engraving at this speed. This means, in practice, you can really engrave images and the like within a very short time, even if they run across the entire slate plate, for example. In practice, with the right settings, we thus achieve truly fantastic results. And not to forget, the whole thing is a clean affair all around because the complete laser is enclosed by the cover. There's an outlet on the back. There, we can attach the included hose and direct the exhaust air directly outside for a clean indoor environment. Yes, and with that, we've now thoroughly examined the ultimate engraving machine from Xtool, the S1 in detail. I must admit, I'm truly more than convinced and can only recommend this device to everyone. Both to beginners who have never dealt with engravings before and would like to get started here accordingly as well as professionals. Especially through the in-house software Creative Space, you can easily perform engravings directly without needing much basic knowledge. And on the other hand, through all the expansions such as the rotation device and the like, you can achieve truly fantastic results with this even as a professional. The only drawback is, of course, the price, but I think all the advantages can offset this single disadvantage. By the way, you can find the current prices of the laser using affiliate links to support this channel below in the video description. I say thank you very much for your support. I'd be happy if you liked the video and showed it with a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel quickly and activate the bell so you won't miss any videos in the future. Stay healthy, and until next time, goodbye.